Hey y'all, happy Monday to you. Uh, it's windy up here, so I apologize if this sounds awful. I'm in Oslo, Norway. Um, this is the capital of, of, uh, of Norway, obviously, and uh, an interesting city. As, as you kind of, I'm going to pan around here in a minute, you're going to see what I mean. Uh, this city was, was originally, I guess, um, east of here, and it burned down a few centuries ago, and, and they decided to move the entire city closer to where I'm standing today. Uh, which is a fortress. It was a medieval fortress that had been used uh, back in the battles with between Norway and Sweden. So they wanted to move it closer to here because they felt like it had better defense. Uh, and what's unfortunate is that this beautiful area was then sort of hit with kind of an ugly city. And uh, keep in mind, I say that being that this is probably the, I don't know, 27th, 28th city I've seen. Um, but the architecture is just real plain. The, the, the palaces are just sort of big blocks. There just isn't there's nothing that spectacular about it. You know, and, and once again, the Scandinavian, being a Scandinavian country, it's, it's expensive. Um, but, you know, it's got some neat things. So we'll pan a little bit here. One of the things you see behind me here, this harbor, uh, this is the harbor where the Nobel Peace Prize is, is awarded every year. And you can just kind of see off in the distance here, uh, the, the little beige-ish building, that is the Nobel Peace Center. I was hoping to see that today, but as the custom in Norway is that all the museums are closed on Monday. So uh, I might be able to see a little bit tomorrow before I head to Stockholm. But anyway, here's the harbor. You can kind of see what I mean. My time is running out on my gorgeous day. Uh, as you can see, the rain is starting to fall over on the mountains over there. But I mean, they've got lush forests. They've got this beautiful, uh, beautiful harbor. They've got the mountains for climbing. And then here you can see some of the fortifications of this uh, fortress I'm at. And then over here, over the construction, uh, you can see more of the city. And, this is more uh, representative of the beautiful day I had here today. So, anyway, circling back around, uh, you know, Norway, like I said, it's, it's a beautiful area. It's mediocre architecture. Uh, I had a nice hostel, so I, I, I don't regret having a couple of days here. And I got to see the, uh, the big sculpture park, which is, which is definitely worth checking out. You know, and, and then obviously just getting to see, see the vibrancy of, of the city is fun. Not doing a lot with the food. You know, it's funny. In America, we have our Italian restaurants and Chinese and Mexican and all this stuff, and you don't see a lot of Norwegian and um, Denmark-type restaurants and stuff, and I'm starting to kind of learn why. They're just, you know, the food here is fine, but uh, there just isn't much to their basic everyday food. For the most part, it's hot dogs. Um, they love their hot dogs here. I, I had a couple today that were wrapped in bacon. Uh, they were huge and, and fantastic. The other oddity I'm finding is that, that the cheapest drink you can buy is milk, um, and I don't know why that is. It's cheaper than water. I mean, seriously, you can buy a quarter milk for less than you can get a regular bottle, uh, thing of bottled water. So uh, I don't understand why milk is so cheap, but obviously I'm a drinker and I'm happy to go. So. Anyway, I was going to go to Bergen tomorrow, but I was warned that Bergen has got really lousy weather. I'm going to check my, my guides and see if there's anything that we've seen there. I'm thinking more likely I'm going to come down here in the morning, get on the table at the Star Museum, and then just go ahead and uh, head to uh, Sweden. Uh, spend some time there. Right now, I'm going to go find somewhere to get inside because it looks like the afternoon storms are just now starting to cross the bay. So, anyway, I hope everybody's having a great Monday, and I will talk to you from soon.